Welcome back, design, uh, tropical design students. So I'd like to show to you a sundial that has been designed for latitude north, uh, latitude 7 and north. Uh, so you notice that uh, if you look at the side view, uh, uh, the gnomon, uh, this uh, rod, is slightly uh, uh, slanted okay and uh, the angle between this slant and the ground is seven degrees and that seven degrees correspond to the latitude uh, latitude uh, seven uh, north okay so this sundial has been oriented uh, directly to the north and uh, and that north is incidentally is uh, what we call the azimuth zero. Okay? So the reason we are trying to study sundial is because if we understand how the sundial operates, then we understand exactly uh, how the sun uh, holds its position no? uh, in the sky at different times of the day and uh, different days of the year. So this is the shadow when it is uh, 12 o'clock noon and on June 21. Okay? So this kind of sundial, by the way, is what we call an equatorial sundial. This is, this is the one that is appropriate for, for the locations which are near the equator. There are many designs of sundial, uh, but this is one is appropriate. Uh, why? Because <clears throat> uh, there are times that the sun is uh, on the north and there are times when the sun is uh, on the south or what we call southerly. So uh, in, in other locations, most of the time the sun is either on the north only and never on the south. Or if you are in the southern hemisphere, very much deep down the, into the southern hemisphere, uh, like uh, perhaps 40 degrees uh, south uh, latitude, then uh, the sun will be, most of the time, will be on the, on the north side. Okay? But since we are in the equator, the sun, uh, in, in, for example, in this time of the the day and uh, June 21, the sun is on the north. Okay. Uh, then we, we know that it's on the north because you, you see the, the shadow. Okay. You, see the, you see the shadow of this gnomon. Now, let me just uh, change the month you know, from June all the way to, to December 21, which is the winter solstice. And let us observe what happens to the shadow as we uh, advance the, the month, okay? So this is June 21, this is July, and then August. You notice that <clears throat> the sun is uh, rather becoming more and more overhead. No? And on September, it's, it's quite directly overhead. No? Uh, this is again a specific characteristic of the tropics whereby uh, there are times of the year when the sun becomes overhead at least once and at most twice. It happens only once if you're on the edge of the equator, sorry, on the edge of the, the region which is either 23 Point five north or 23.5 south. So if you're on the edge, then you will experience an overhead sun only in, uh, in uh, or once, no? once a year. So uh, this is now September and that let's advance to October. Okay, now the sun has shifted to the south, okay? So, there's no shadow uh, on the northern side. 
it is the turned away from the sun so let's look at the the south now no you see that the the gnomon has cast a shadow okay and then by the way by the shadow you will be able to tell the time no? you can mark the time there 12 o'clock and then uh, let's advance uh, the the month to november and then uh, december okay so that that will be the the position of the sun uh, on december and comparing it with uh, june 21 okay so you you will understand that the in the tropics the sun is almost always overhead okay so it will tell us that whenever we design a building it would make sense if we make the roofing quite reflective of the the sun the sunlight uh, the roof should be colored like white they in in some books that we have read the greenest color is white okay. so the greenest color is white now if you make a line from this tip to the shadow and then come and then make another line when it is June from this tip okay and then you um, put that line together it will be it will appear something like this okay? so this is the December uh, uh, light uh, sunlight angle which is uh, on the south and on June 21 it will be this okay? okay this is the time at, at noon okay now uh, what happens if you in if you go northern latitude like this is seven degrees north what happens if it if it, if you go uh, let's say 20 uh, 30 so this this kind of like uh, a part no of a of a whole circle uh, will just be rotating uh, about this uh, this point by the way the total angle of this is 23.5 times 2 so that's 47 degrees okay and it will always be 47 degrees uh, wherever you are okay so what will happen is uh, uh, if you go uh, further north, this angle will just uh, shift. Okay, okay, we just shift like this. As you go northern hemisphere towards uh, 45, 46, this angle will will uh, will lie down no? in such a way that. Uh, you notice that the angle in December is much lower uh, compared with the angle on, on on June 21, which is rather good. No? I mean, yeah, you you must have seen that in in some literature that in December when it is winter, where you have a lot of snow, and when the trees have shed its leaves then the sunlight will will uh, will have a lower angle so that it will penetrate into the windows that will somehow uh, uh, contribute to the heating of the house you know, uh, when it is december and when it is june during the summer months the the angle is much steeper and uh, the angle uh, of this particular sun during this summer month is is in such a way that that is uh, gonna be blocked going to be blocked by an overhang if you have no. but this is not not the case no? in in the tropics it's something like this no so uh 
you need overhang uh, on the south, you need overhang on the north, and of course during uh, sunrise and sunset, we have not talked about it, uh, <clears throat> when we change the, the time, no? so the the eastern side uh, will will receive a lot of of uh, sun and when it uh, when the sun uh, uh, goes down no after uh, late afternoon uh, on the western side you still need a lot of sun protection so in a way in to understand this uh, in in the tropics all the surfaces of the house, of the building, will receive its uh, share uh, of sunlight, but n not quite in the in the areas in subtropical and temperate uh, regions where the sun does not does not appear at all. No? If you are if you are in a 45 degree, degree uh, latitude, the northern side of your house will never see uh, the sun at all. No. It will always be on the south. So therefore, uh, the south will receive uh, a lot of sun and uh, depending on your need. No? Uh, okay. if, you, if it's winter, you wanted that sun. In summer, you try to avoid that sun but in the tropics they say uh, it's always uh, summer no uh, in fact the coldest time of, of that we ever get is uh, is when it's the evening and until the, the sun rises again that, that would be the winter the winter in in the tropics is that that night time uh, that we we begin to uh, i mean the house the buildings begin to cool because the sun has disappeared and then once the sun has risen then that's the time again to heat up the building and it becomes summer at around 12 noon to 1 o'clock. And you have four seasons in a day somehow. No? Okay. So I hope uh, I have made myself clear. Uh, good day and uh, thank you.